Commissioners. My name is Bob Barrett, 2544 East Merrillstone in beautiful downtown Nordland. <laughs> I stand before you to urge you to reject any plan concerning a climate action plan for Jefferson County. I have been recently exposed to information. In fact, it's a book that uh, Mr. Farr made, a, a, made me aware of where many of the so-called scientific documents were in fact not true peer-reviewed documents. Uh, I was skeptical of this. However, I talked to my youngest son, who is a research scientist at a major Midwestern university, and he says the adoption of and the use of undergraduate, staff, and non-professional individuals to prepare technical papers and have them signed off by scientists and academicians is quite prevalent outside of the United States. And many of the documents that have been presented for the uh, UN Kyoto Protocols appear to have such tenuous credibility. Now, how do we approach identification of such documents? Well, sometimes, they reach out and bite us close to home. I bring to your attention what happened at the University of Washington when the state asked a or excuse me, a uh, anthropologist to uh, do a research of the uh, activity in Port Angeles where they were doing the graving yards. He turned his his contract with the state over to graduate students who went up, did a cursory examination reported back to him that there was no archaeological impact. He presented that to the state. They went forth with their project, only to find that these research individuals had neglected to talk to any of the tribal leaders, any of the oral history specialists for the Native Americans, and had conveniently missed the presence of a thousand population ancestral village there. The result was project abandoned, great cost to the citizens of the state of Washington, and a financial impact in the, in the uh, North uh, Olympic Peninsula area. The Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations has predicted that one-third of the countries who have adopted the Kyoto Protocols are going to be forced to go to three times, 300% the wood burning emissions that they currently use uh, in, in today's activities. And so, based on that, I urge you to abandon Thank you, your Mr. efforts. Yeah. Thank you. 